going on guys? Clumsy Cat here and today in this video I'm bringing you guys episode 2 for my uh, Thumbcraft series, uh, the tutorial series. Now I know it's been a while since I uploaded um, another video or I uploaded a video on this. Uh, mainly I've been just re releasing Paladins videos recently. Uh, yes, I do know that. I uh, I used to play Paladins. Uh, I think I had a video on it from I don't know, like a long time ago on my channel when it was still in closed beta. Um, yeah, I just I got back in because I had stopped playing it for a while, but then I got back into it, and so I just decided to release some more content on it. And also, you guys probably are noticing uh, higher quality videos now. Uh, I'm in a Discord chat with some people, and one of the people in it helped me figure out um, how to make it higher quality. I know it's still not the highest quality, but it's quite nice, actually. Um, yeah, so let us get into this video. So, uh, again, we're still going to be covering the basics of Thaumcraft, uh, but today we are going to be covering the Thaumaturgy tab. So. Uh, we're going to be covering Thaumaturgy, that means we'll be going over all the wand foci's, uh, just more wands in general, and maybe some node stabilizers. Maybe. So, um, I've got some wand stuff set up back here, got our table and our research thing. Uh, I just went ahead and scanned a whole bunch of, like, spawned in a whole bunch of nodes and scanned them, scanned them to get more stuff. And, uh, yeah, so, the first thing we're going to be doing is gold wand caps uh as you can see here uh just go ahead and click on it and we can do this so we need to combine metallum so if we grab some vitreous we throw it right there find instrumentum which is humanus and ordo or not humanus sorry which is uh humanus and ordo uh humanus and Ordo. Yeah. Um, we can throw that there. And then we need Lucrum, which is made of Humanus or Fams. Then we're going to throw Perdicio there. Why did that not work? Uh, sorry, not Perdicio. Uh, Vacuos. And then we need something that connects Vacuos. To Ordo, so we need something to do with air. So what does air plus Ordo equal? Uh, let me quickly check that out. Uh, air plus Ordo gives us Motus. Uh, if we find Motus quickly and we throw that there, that connects that. Uh, one second. That connects that. And, um, let's see here, uh, vacuos, so if we grab air, one second, uh, there we go, that's all connected, and then we need to connect vitreous, which is ordo, and terra, so we'll grab that, and then we need to connect those two. So, what's something that has Ordo in it? Uh, something that has Ordo. Hmm. I guess we can connect. Nope, not Bestia. Something that has Ordo. Hmm. Just trying to find. Oh, uh, I guess we can throw instrumentum there, and boom, there we go. We now have gold wand caps unlocked. Uh, let's throw that back in there. I know that was a terrible way of covering it, but whatever. So, gold wand caps. Uh, in order to craft them, it's pretty much just the same as any other wand cap. You just need your gold ingots, just like that. Have your stuff, and you get your gold wand caps. Uh, quite simple. Uh... And it's, again, quite simple to make. Then, we have our Great Wood Wand. Boom, boom. Now, as you can see, we don't have it because we need to get the research for it. So, there we go. Uh, let me quickly put this together, and I will be right back. 
All right, then, guys, I am back. Uh, feel free to just copy this down. But we now have the Great Wood Wand Core. So if we go ahead and we learn that quickly, uh, as you can see here, we have this unlocked, we got this unlocked, and well, it's pretty sweet. So uh, again, you just go in here and you can get a Great Wood Wand Core. And if you go here, uh, sorry, if it's in here, you should be able to make a gold banded wand. Uh, as you can see here, I just have this one, which is already full. So uh, that's pretty much the basics to that wand. Um, also, if I'm not mistaken, you can unlock more wands. Uh, okay, we need to unlock this, I believe. One moment, let me just unlock Master Node Tapping. I will be right back. Alrighty then, uh, j there we go. Master Node Tapping, just that easy. And uh, that did not unlock this. Why did that not unlock this? Um, one moment, let me just find what we need. Uh, do, do, do. I don't know why that didn't unlock. Okay, well. Uh, let's move on to the Wand Foci. So this is the uh, Fire Wand Foci. Pretty simple. Uh, we just need to figure out something that connects these two. And boom. There we go. That simple. Uh, we can go ahead and throw that away. And well, we have access to all of these other Wand Foci. So, uh, as you can see here, uh, we can just go ahead and we can craft a fire foci, uh, but we also have all of these other ones. And uh, one cool one that if you really want to get trolly with your friends, uh, if you go ahead and you get the excavation, and we put this together, one moment, let me do that. Alrighty then, I am back. Uh, here we go, so we just grab the excavation, and if you look in here, why is this not here? Um, God, why is this not showing up? I don't know why. Well, um, if, for, okay, I don't know why this isn't showing up. Uh, one moment, let me figure out why this isn't showing up. Alrighty then, guys, I am back, and, uh, well, I have figured out why it was not showing up. Uh, we actually need to jump into the alchemy tab next, very quickly. Uh, and we need to learn Nitor. Now, we're not actually going to be going through what Nitor is or anything. Uh, in this video, we're going to be covering that later. But, um, we will be going through it all later. So, uh, just learn Nitor. Just really simple. Uh, we also need, uh, an Alumentum here, I believe. So, Potentia. Converts into Ignis and Potentia is Ordo. So, uh, whoops. Um, and then we need Potentia. Where's my Potentia? Potentia. There you are. Boom. Alumentum. Uh, okay, there we go. So now we need uh, one sec. Thaumaturgy, that's not yet unlocked. Artifice. Uh, we need the Arcane Lamp. S or, sorry, we need the uh, Infernal Furnace. And we need to learn this. So, uh, let me quickly research this. I will be right back. Alrighty then, guys. I am back, and uh, I have done the research. So, uh, just go ahead, learn that. And you'll see that you do actually gain warp for learning this. I believe we covered that in the first episode, so yeah, uh, I'm just going to quickly replace the scribing tools there. Alright, uh, now that we have this, uh, we have not unlocked that yet. Alright, well, uh, I believe the next thing that we need is the arcane lamp. So we need census, so we find census, it's air and spiritus, spiritus is victus and mortis. Uh, we need uh, this and air. There we go. And that gives us census. So, uh, we also need luck. So, oh boy. There we go. Learn that. Uh, I'm just trying to think what we need to learn next. 
Hmm. Hmm, what do we need next? Uh now let me think here. One moment guys, let me just think. Alrighty then guys. Um I've now figured out what I need to do. Uh so you need to go ahead and go under the alchemy tab. And you need to learn Essentia Distillation. Now, uh, unfortunately, I didn't record me researching it, but you could just search up Essentia Distillation Research, and you should get it. Now, if you go back here to Thaumaturgy, you still shouldn't have the wands, but if we go to Artifice, you should have Infusion. So we need this note. And uh, let me quickly do this, and I'll be right back. Alrighty then, guys. I am back. Um... Just ignore the stuff going on on the side. I just used a bunch of knowledge fragments to get some more uh, research. But here we go. There is the infusion. So if we go ahead and we learn that, and we go in here, artifice uh, should be it in there. Thaumaturgy. There we go. We've got all of these other wands. So uh, we've got the quartz wand. We got. Icy wand, the obsidian wand, we got the blaze rod uh, wand, the reed wand, and the bone wand. So, uh, each of these, they have their own special qualities to them. They all have a capacity of 75, and depending on which one you get, it will restore one of the, um, it will restore one of the, uh, viz aspects slowly when you're under 10%, I believe it is. So, um, that's good if you want one specific type of V, otherwise I'd recommend just going for like Silverwood and stuff, which is the next one that I will be showing you. Uh, let me quickly research this though. Alrighty then guys, I am back. Uh, this is the research for the Silverwood Wand Core. Yes, I know it is a lot, but it's actually not that much if you think about it. So, if we go ahead and snag the Silverwood Wand Core, as you can see here, uh, there we can now create staves and scepters. So that's not really basic knowledge. You don't really need that uh, For the basic knowledge of Thumbcraft, so we're not going to be covering those this series anyways, uh, you come in here and you grab your silverwood logs and boom uh, Sorry, what is the crafting recipe for this? Oh, yes, this is a infusion um, infusions are not actually uh, the, in this one, infusions are in Artifice, so we're not going to be covering it for the next couple of episodes, but, um, sorry, that's not how you do it, um, but yes, that is pretty much it for, um, what's it called, for this, uh, for, uh, the wands, and then, uh, also, the wand focus of warding. Uh, like I said, uh, actually, you know what we're going to do is we're going to create this first. We're going to create the fire foci just to show you guys what the foci is about. So, uh, we need four, four fire shards, a fire charge, uh, fire charge, uh, fire shard. And then the last thing that we need, oops, um, now that I can get that another one later. Uh, the last thing we need is four quartz. Um, mm -hmm. Boom. Alright, so we go in here, we throw our wand in there. Uh, I'll just grab one there. Uh, four quartz like that, the charge in the middle, and just like that. There you go, you need 20 the uh, Ignis V, and you've got yourself a focus of fire. And if you hold down whatever uh, key binding you have it should be under controls right here miscellaneous change wand focus I have it set to V hold your wand press that and then click on this and boom and you just right click and you can uh, Basically have a flamethrower and it functions just as you think it would it would set mobs on fire uh, it Does direct damage to them as well as well the fire damage so uh, Yeah, it's quite fun to troll around with um, and quite fun to just absolutely destroy your friends with fire. So, also yes, uh, it does drop cooked food if you, um, sorry, what's the key binding to take it off? Why is that, nope, that's not what I want, controls. 
Um, activate heart. Change focus. Misk wand toggle. V. G. Why are you not? Sorry, shift V. That's what takes it off. There we go. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, die cow. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, found it helpful. What the heck? Um, again, this that's it for this video. Uh, next time. Next time we will be covering um, the alchemy tab, uh, like the Sencha distillation, jars, the elementum, uh, then we'll be going over in fusions and all that stuff, and then golemancy, which is probably one of my favorite parts of this entire mod. So um, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to slap that like button down below, as well as comment and subscribe, and uh, I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. I'm gonna throw my memories away Now I feel I am done And I'm cursed by every day Till my time is gone I've never felt this way before